Okay, so we are in the backyard. We're going to just take a quick little walk around here to start. So, and come out of the back porch here. This is what you'll see. Temporary grill from when we moved in and got rid of the old one. I'd like to get another Sago Palm, but we've had that one for about three or four years, and it's taken a long time for it to get that big. Um, they're pretty expensive. This is kind of the uh, <laughs> junk corner from where we're working with some stuff. This area over here, when we moved in, was completely blank. We decided to put in the pond ourselves, um, but we did it kind of late in the season. And when you turn it on, we've got some uh, cracks that we need to seal. And then you can kind of see here, we're gonna have to go back through and dig this through a little bit deeper because as the dirt settled we can kind of see where everything ended up and where we need to go back and make some improvements so that's why all of this isn't finished yet so this will be part of the adventure we go on together i did go ahead and put in some bulbs last year just so they wouldn't die um these are an opening so pretty and it just so happens that my neighbor is a Florida master gardener and she was redoing her yard last year. So she gave me a bunch of plants, some of which I don't remember the names to. And this one's starting to get a couple little flowers on it. The hummingbirds absolutely love these. They were out last year and I've got a couple of them. This one's pretty big. Let's see if this flowers. And we've got a hibiscus down here. And this is a white shrimp plant that'll get uh, kind of the bloom on it will get maybe just a little bit bigger and it'll be white and fluffy like. These here were sent to me from a thousand miles from my cousin and they will get beautiful red um, blooms with like a little white stripe in them. Um, and here is a plumeria cutting clipping that I brought back from Hawaii and we're gonna see if we can make it grow. However, this may not because we had maybe two or three freezes this year uh, overnight and I Mm, I don't know if it survived or not. Um, just like some of these down here. Um, these are all, I believe, day lilies I took out of, well, my, my mom gave me. And so these made a thousand mile trip and they've done pretty well over the years. I took them out of the old place and brought them with me. This back here is a Mandavia and I have never been able to get one of these to come back two years in a row. So the fact that we had a freeze and it's still alive when I've never been able to keep one alive before is pretty amazing. And we'll see if it actually flowers. And I believe this is a salvia that I got from the neighbor. So that, and I think it's like a purplish blue color. So that'll be pretty. And my favorite, one of my favorites, um, a bird of paradise. Now this has been on the porch over the winter and it doesn't look very happy right now, but we got some rain yesterday, so it should be happy. It's a white bird of paradise. So I'm really excited to see this. We'll figure out what we're going to put in there later. We got a nice little sitting area over here. So I'd like to kind of Maybe put a couple of pots on the side, and we'll see. We'd also like to end up redoing the patio out here. And if you walk, <clears throat> all of these stones were, in this little path, was hidden. It was buried under a bunch of stuff when we first moved in. So all of this got cleaned out. It was just one big kind of mess. 
Um, and then on this side, this is what you'll see when you're in the porch. And this is another white shrimp plant. So this is what those blooms will look like. Excuse my dirty fingernails. I've been digging in the dirt. So those are really cool. And they come in like a pinkish and a peachish color as well. And we've got some other little blooms here. I've seen some hummingbirds out in the mornings come and feed on these when they're in full bloom and they absolutely love it. And back here, I've got, I need to clip this a little bit more. I thought after the freeze I had gotten down to where it was still alive, but apparently not because yeah, that's dead up there. But the plant itself is still alive. Hallelujah. And all of the angel trumpet plants that I have in the yard came from one of my very best friends, Melissa, and she is a fellow gardener who always has a fabulous, fabulous garden. We might have to go raid her place. And this back here, I cut into it yesterday and it's still green, so believe it's still alive but it didn't look very alive <laughs> it looks pretty dead but this is a fire bush and it turned the leaves turn a really cool um, reddish color so I'm gonna give it a little bit more time and see if it'll start sprouting a little greenery on some of these little edges here because like I said when I cut into it yesterday it's still green so I think it's still alive and this is another angel trumpet that I don't think I cut back far enough, but you can, it's hard to see on the video, but you can kind of see the green and the trunk moving its way up. And so I think I need to cut it back just a little bit more. But this came, um, again, from my friend Melissa when she was moving out of her old house. And when she gave me these, they were maybe about that tall when I stuck it out of the dirt, and that was a year ago. And so despite the hard freeze and having to cut quite a bit of it back, this thing has grown into quite the monster. And I've got another one over here. So these are all angel trumpets, and they're like a peach kind of color. We got a real Dutch oven here. Not real sure what to do with. I'd ideally love to take this tree out and put like a fire pit over here. I'm going to go back this way. So I'm really excited to get this done and get some more plants up here. We'll shop for some stuff in here. And we'll get the... Uh, Hub's out here on his next day off to start working on this. Can't wait to get that done. And then over here, excuse the mess, I've got some, we've got this wide open space over here, so we want to put a pool in this summer over here. So all of this needs to get cleaned out. <coughs> and I've got these little water fountains and bird feeders that I need to figure out what I want to do with that our neighbor at the old place was getting rid of and didn't want. So now let's go to the front. The front yard is much bigger. All right. I need to take these out to the front. So this is just kind of the side yard, nothing real impressive over here. Just a little crepe myrtle. I'm coming up to the front of the house. I've got a little flower bed here. And last year I had moonflowers and morning glories climbing this. And so I'm probably going to put some more there. we got a knockout rose here and a knockout rose bush over there and some butterfly weed that there are caterpillars all over. We'll see if we can find some. 
And here's another angel trumpet that I think I'm going to move over there. This is a white angel trumpet, so I'm really excited to see that. I'll come over here. This is a begonia, I believe, and I was thinking about moving this, and it is still alive. I cut it back, and it's got some greenery coming out on it. So it's alive. We just need to clean out these flower pots and figure out what we're going to put in there. But anyway, I was thinking about putting that sago palm in this and moving it. But when you walk up to the house, I'm a little worried if you get too close to it, it will scratch the mess out of you. And then we've got some hanging plants here. And over here, we've got some more salvia and you'll see again the hummingbirds just love this and some gladiolas that have popped up from last year these are one of my f absolute favorites and my mom told me that they were one of my grandpa's favorites as well so we have good taste absolutely love gladiolas and this is another hibiscus. I absolutely love hibiscus as well. And this was a mystery hibiscus from the neighbor. She wasn't real sure what it was going to look like, but it did bloom last year. And it had these beautiful um, maroonish color blooms on it. And this was another one I wasn't real sure survived the freeze, but it appears that it has. And... In front, so we've got more over here, more salvia, we got a Mexican petunia back here, some butterfly weed, here's another gladiola that's popped up, and they're scattered all throughout here, I'm not entirely sure where they all are, so it'll be a surprise for everyone. And here is a, now this one, this is a, another angel trumpet. I'm, mm, this one I don't think survived the freeze, but we're going to give it a little time and see if not. We'll move it. So we can see what did pretty well through here. Here's another hibiscus that doesn't look happy, but it's alive. See, whoop, get off there. So we've got some greenery here, so we know this baby's still alive. And all along the back side, along the house, I had thrown a packet of wildflower seeds, and it actually turned out really, really beautiful as kind of a background. I'm not a very, my gardening style is more, let's just toss it in the ground and see what happens. And I've cleaned all of this up and made this garden bed. I want to put, I had some mammoth sunflowers here last year, but I didn't go all along the side of the house. So this year I just finished, that's why my nails are so disgusting, digging all of this out along the side of the house. And we'll put some plants along the side. Because as you can see, we are on a corner lot. So we want to get the side as well. And then we've got down here, this area, I'm not entirely sure what I want to put down here. It was a little difficult to water. The hose will reach, but when it's windy, kind of like when the wind's blowing now, it blows back in the other direction and it's just hard to keep it nice and saturated. And this little area gets blasted with sun all day long. I've got six crepe myrtles total in the front. I was a little late winterizing them, um, but they're looking like they're coming back pretty nice now. And there's another one over there. So all of this, so there's the side of the house. We want to put the some mammoths and do a nice little garden on the side of the bed there. little promo for them so don't even think about it if you want to come up and say hi don't and then 
I've got the little swing in front here. And I put these pavers down. And my idea last year was I had bought these two pots and put some jasmine and I wanted them to kind of climb up the top so when we sat out here on the swing we could smell the jasmine because it's so wonderful but they drain for shit so my plants kind kind of didn't do so well it's still in there but we gotta have the hubs drill some holes in the bottom of that for me so we can try again but I think this year I'm going to do some moonflowers and morning glories because I harvest what seeds I can from my plants and I have a ton of morning glory and moonflower seeds and I had this little trellis in the corner up here last year and the weight of the flowers was just too much and it all got kind of bundled at the top and then bent forward so or backwards so I think I'm going to put it maybe either up against the house in the corner this year not real sure we'll have to see where things up hey master lizard and there are lizards everywhere hey guy where are you going where are you going so here, there's the front yard. Now a little area here. Come back this way. So we gotta kind of figure out how we want to line this. And then back here, I've got this is another uh, Birds of Paradise. This is a uh, Orange Birds of Paradise. Over here, I had hmm, they were but. Uh, bulbs of canna lilies uh yeah that's what they were cannas i had one there and i had one there not entirely sure what was in that but it's all crap now so we'll just dig it out so we'll see what we can put in these Let's see if we can find any more caterpillars and i'm gonna have to cut these back but i wanted to give the caterpillars something to munch on and so they're starting to come back and get some greenery on them but they do need to be cut and we've got knockout so beautiful love the hot pink and I had purple up here last year so we had some hot pink and purple and like I said, I'm not a very organized gardener. Some people like to landscape and just really have nice clean edges. And I somewhat do. I like to have a, a nice bed kind of like this. And at the front of the house, I'll probably, like I did last year, you know, line them up in a somewhat organized fashion. But when we get kind of over here, like I said, just kind of throw some stuff in and see what happens. I got some... Um, I believe they're, I don't know what the real name is, but it's like carpet of snow and they get about six inches tall and they're little white flowers and I lined. Oops, sorry about that. My camera just decided that it didn't want to work anymore. So anyway, so last year I had this kind of bordered by the carpet of snow flowers, but this year I kind of think I want to maybe just throw it in there and see what happens because I get lazy and I don't want to weed all of this and I have a full-time job and sometimes after working all day I just don't feel like doing it so that's where the not very clean edged landscaping comes into play but sometimes I like it that way and if you're not real sure if something's gonna grow there or not it sometimes trial and error and we'll see what grows and see what doesn't so We'll put some seeds in there from last year and get some morning glories and moonflowers over here. We'll get some. Well, apparently my phone is trying to tell me it's time to stop with the tour and get in the car and go buy some plants. 
So, I think I have covered all of the flower beds, and in this whole process, I'm definitely open to su suggestions, anything that you guys would like to see, or see if it'll grow in Northeast Florida. Um, I have, obviously, my favorites, like the hibiscus and the birds of paradise, you know, I, I really like those, um, but I am definitely open to branching out, a little bit of a pun intended, but we will see how things go. We can always move things around, put things in at different times in the season because, hey, like I said, this is Florida. It stays warm. We're not really any under a whole serious kind of time crunch, so we're going to head off to a couple of nurseries and see what we can find.